So here's a recording that goes over how to resize your image uh, and save it as a JPEG. So um, this is specifically for concurrent enrollment for their art entries. Just want to walk through that using Photoshop Creative Cloud. Um, so if you look at the specs for what they're asking for, you can see that it says four by six inches. Uh, it asks for it to be 300 DPI and then it says it needs a name artist name underscore title of work um, so we'll go ahead and walk you through the process for this I've already got an image pulled up um, the first place you want to go is we want to get it to 4 by 6 300 dpi so you can have a variety of things in here I'm um, gonna go into Photoshop under image and image size we will bring up this dialog box so this is somewhat of a square image but we'll take the largest height and get it to that 4 by 6 you can see that it's already 300 dpi and if it's bigger than that we can resample it and get rid of the information we don't need if it's less than that you may want to change that first so if this had been 72 dpi you're gonna see that it's quite a bit bigger so let's just pretend that it was 72 dpi we'll do 300 dpi first click OK um, and then I would go back in a second time and that second time I'd resample it so you've got your resolution set at 300 dpi that's the first step when we come back in here we'll do the physical size so you notice that it's 5 by 6 that's about what they're looking for so we'll leave that 5 by 6 using the bigger number if it were wider we'd put that 6 in there so you go ahead and do that then we want to file and go to file and save as uh, this is very similar on the PC I'm using a Mac here but you can do this with a PC as well same menu file and save as go ahead and give it the name so the name that they're asked for I'll just copy and paste this is the artist name underscore and the JPEG will automatically be added when you save that so we'll just paste that in there so artist name underscore title of artwork okay uh, JPEG make sure you pick JPEG from the format don't worry about these other just the standard JPEG is what they're looking for here uh, we'll save it on the desktop and it will give us another box that says what kind of quality so you can do maximum I actually just like the high that should be plenty of quality so you can pick the high there and click OK and that saves it on the desktop and that's basically how you would go through so just remember image image size change the resolution first okay usually I uncheck resample um, if you're on an older version of Photoshop this will be slightly different you'll get another box for perspective but it'll have the basic same information that you see here so if you're in say creative uh, suite 6 for example it'll be slightly different the interface has changed um, for a PC it's the same thing the box looks slightly different because it'll be in a Windows environment but make sure you get the 300 DPI first and then you know just to recap then go back and resample this to the 4 by 6 width and that's what it should be if this image is smaller than that say it's 2 by 3 uh, you're going to want to have that reshot and shoot that a little bit differently so it's not so uh, small. Uh, anything you shoot with an iPhone or anything like that should be a lot bigger than uh, 2x3 or so on and so forth. So uh, be worried if this were smaller than 4x6. You don't want to increase it. So normally we're just cutting off information and making it smaller. Uh, but if you make it bigger, that's not the preferred way. And that's pretty much it.